Your vote will help determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin is up in the polls. But as Jason Calvi tells us, Wisconsin Republicans today officially back a challenger. It's already backed by former President Donald Trump, but now Republican candidate Eric Covde gets some more official backing as he tries to oust Democratic incumbent Senator Tammy Baldwin. Pull those in the middle to our side. Ask them the hard questions. Do you like what Joe Biden and Tammy Baldwin's done with our border, with our debt, with our inflation? The Republican Party of Wisconsin officially endorsed Hovde in the Senate race with a voice vote. All in favor, say aye. aye. All opposed? Aye. Uh, in the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Please welcome back the endorsed Republican candidate for United States Senate, Eric Hovde. He was the only one who met the qualifications to speak and be on the state party's endorsement ballot. But some wanted to hear from another candidate, Rajani Ravindran. She did not meet those qualifications. She did not meet with the endorsement committee. So she's not allowed to speak at the convention. Democrats took to Zoom to criticize Republicans. It's clear that Trump's chaos and extremism is hurting the GOP here in the one state that could very well decide the entire election. Democrats have an infrastructural advantage when it comes to campaign offices. They have 47 campaign offices across Wisconsin. A Republican source tells me by June 1st they'll have 30 Republican offices here in the Badger State. In Appleton, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. We're bringing you coverage of Republican and Democratic state party conventions. Wisconsin Democrats will meet in Milwaukee next month.